Hello, welcome back. I'm going to stop looking at things that aren't like hugely interesting anymore. Like all of these events are just kind of sites and stuff and just random little events. And as for the battles, um, a lot of them are raids and I'll skip the ones that are just kind of raids and stuff. Um, firstly though we've got some research done. Conjuration is now 6. There's a few things here that are interesting. Um, we can actually summon hungry princes now, like the one that we got for free from uh, Bedfellows. Uh, they do come as a unit, okay. That's good to know. Um, so you'd have to gift of uh, reason them to get big versions. Uh, gonna keep going though for Tangleheart eggs to fill our own forts with. Um, the Throne of the Moon has been claimed by Kazia. Uh, we did a lot of spells. Report from Lemnos was that some flame bolts appeared and hit some of our units there. Cast our domes and all that kind of stuff. Um, in terms of battle, Kareen was um, the Manchester thugs raiding us. These can kill lately defended provinces quite easily. Um, and Larian Swamps, we threw our raiding force at Gerudo, that went fine as well. Uh, Holoma, we tried to um, take a province back from the Mancha, hoping for a fight. Nothing there. And Erebon is the one that the Myriad keeps taking. Let me attack the throne in Pepper Plain. Uh, by process of elimination, we know this is the Throne of Fire. Kind of funny that it's guarded by a bunch of flammable things. This is a cool looking fight, I think. But you also get to see the, um... <laughs> the Subsumance laser sphere thing. I like that. Lots of entangling. And the teeth in the hills all kind of hit the back lines pretty easily. I like how this battle looks. Just about to see a um, juvenile Tangleheart here. This was a hatch one egg. Where was the Tangleheart? Ah, we've got a Tangleheart at the back here laying eggs. Um, oh, interesting. Why is it doing that? Oh, there's some kind of bug with the mod. This will be um, a bug with uh, merging, I think. That's a shame. What's it supposed to start with at the beginning of battle? Probably eggs, actually. I'll have to check in the mod why that's gone wrong. But, um, yeah, but this is what they look like anyway. Uh, and there's an egg. They hatch into the little ones. Uh, this battle's over, right? Yeah. They hatch into the little ones, and then the little ones go into the big ones. And then the big ones look like this. I really like them. Um, so that's Pepper Plain. Uh, we lost one Teeth in the Hills. We've got 119 kills somehow. Um, other than that, perfect. We found quite a lot of stuff as well, including a Cornucopia. This is a temporary nature gem item. Uh, Niffle was just more raids. Uh, this is the um, stack of mage walking towards us. Uh, and then there was a battle in Lemnos. We set a trap for Gerudo, hoping he'd walk at us with his mundane units, which he did. Uh, we got lots of mages here. There's lots of astral guys as well. They do chip away at the units. Um, this goes down to 7 hit points already. They do have Undying 10 though, which is a bit awkward. Spells as usual make short work of the worms. 
There's a lot of fire elementals. Fortunately for us, this is another case where um, no magic weapons in this battle uh, at all. It was hit very hard, um, but it's a mundane weapon, so they have a huge amount of difficulty getting through ethereality. And then if they do get through ethereality, well, I've got a regen bus, so <laughs> um, they can't really do much. Kind of awkward because obviously you don't get many spirits of points. They're supposed to be like the rarest unit you get. I think maybe they're a bit too tough. But it's hard to know because like <laughs> we just keep they keep getting put in positions where they're just surrounded by like mundane troops that can't hurt them. So it's hard to really know exactly how busted they are. I get the sense that they're a little bit busted though. Maybe I'll make them no heal, like the um, subsumants, so that regen doesn't help them as much. Let me just clean up now. <laughs> um, interestingly, they do take quite a lot of damage from the fire elementals. I guess it's just because, I mean, they do have a magic attack, but. They seem to take a lot of damage. I should, I'll should i check it in the log later, but it struck me as odd how much damage they take just from being around fire elementals, considering all the fire resist they have with the bless. This was only 10. Ah uh, yes, that was Lemnos. Uh, we managed to charm a couple of Iron Knuckles as well with the uh, dancers, who all died unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, that wasn't too bad. We kept a lot of the whites as well, which is good. The whites are pretty good units. Even the flagellants survived. I suppose they were on guard commander though, so... Uh, yeah, it killed three mages, 70 iron knuckles. Uh, and we found a bottle of living water. So, pretty good battle. I do wonder though, because like, where are those thugs? Because like, La Mancha has these thugs. I Like, I wonder if these guys got on my spirits. These guys would just wreck my spirits, right? They get like... 49 damage around. So I don't know. It's, it's I'm worried that they're, the spirits are just like too powerful, but they're all supposed to be like a rare super unit. Uh, I was also battling Crystal Fears, which is taking back the cave from uh, Selenia. A worldwide event, there was the arena battle. Um, let's quickly go through this. We, we don't usually do the arena battle, but we did this time. So we sent out a meaningful life full of joy. Geared like that. He has a tech skill of 9. Not too bad. So far so good. Next, AI Limnos sent a lion. Also not too bad. Uh, La Mancha next. La Mancha sent uh, another small thug. Uh, I think this is the guy who, yeah, this guy won the last arena match, so he had to come. Uh, he's very difficult to hit. He's got um, 26 defense. Wow. Wait, his heroic ability is Iron Will and he has 8 magic resist? Is that because of the color? No. Oh, he's, oh yeah, I guess it is from the color, okay. Now this goes a bit more... Poorly, because we can't hit him. He eventually gets got. Um, we pick up a lot of afflictions there, unfortunately. Um, and then oh, that was it. So we won. Um, and then the myriad attacked everyone again, and um, we got attacked by wolves in Lynch, which is nothing. Lynch is over here. Um, so that's it for messages. Here's a meaningful life full of joy. He got a champion's gladius, which gives him affliction resistance, which would have been useful <laughs> in the combat. Uh, luck and quickness. Luck's pretty good with the uh, regen bless. 
Um, he also got heroic um, agility, which is good because it puts his attack skill and everything back up from everything he just lost from battle wounds. So he's now actually got 13 attack and 20 defense. Quite nice. Okay, so what's happening this turn? Um, we'll start over here. We just took this throne. I'm going to claim it, and I'm also building a lab here so that we can get domes over it. And after that, I'll try and get up a fort. Uh, here's the cornucopia we found. Two temporary nature gems. Um, other than that, just searching here. Everyone who has a disease who is a commander is moving to rob a home with the elixirs. Um, the disease units are staying behind so that they don't take um, targeting from the curing. Um, so we'll start curing our commanders back in robber home now. And then meanwhile we'll try and secure this throne. Here it is. Uh, get some infrastructure up. And that's all I'm really going to focus on now for the rest of the game is locking down forts. So this stack is going to sit on this fort forever probably. This stack on this one. Uh, I'm going to have to get some defense down on this one at some point. I've moved mages here to put up a lab so that we can dome it and stuff. Uh, and it'll have a steady stream of long dead from here I suppose. Um, next throne we're going to have to take is this one. So the units that are building up in this region will go for that. Um, for now though, we've still, we're getting raided now by the um, mage stack in Niffle and the two thugs in Kareen. Uh, I'm going to take Kareen back with just some junk. I don't expect he'll stay here, I think he'll fly to another target. Um, so I'm moving from Keepus into Chibia. Um, and I'm moving a few other bits and pieces from around the world into Chibia. Um, so we'll defend this province, just in case he moves there next. He can also move to it with um, this stack as well. So we'll have some units, we'll have some worms, got the Hungry Prince as well, um, and a Water Four Mage, but that's really all. Um, so I'm just hoping that the, the number of units helps tip the tides. This stack is just going to sit in Holoma in case either of these stacks move into it though. Um, so there's quite a lot of units here. Um, but slightly more mages, so maybe that'll do something. But in general, we'll just keep trying to like take back provinces to flip provinces until hopefully we eventually kill um, these things. But the priority will just be getting this thrown at some point. And then I'm over here, there's another giant Garudan stack on our border. I don't know if there are any mages, there weren't many with that last one, but they did spam a lot of fire elementals. I'm just going to storm the fort now here. We've got quite a lot of um, good units here now. We've got all the spirits. we also got these guys that we charmed who are sacred so we can regen them up. Um, and I can't imagine there's much stuff left in Lemnos so let's try storming the castle. We'll see how that goes. Um, and then if Garuda moves on to it, well, well we'll have a castle defense the turn after which will be interesting. And if I don't fancy it I'm pretty sure the spirits can all just teleport out of the fortress anyway. Uh, meanwhile, all the stuff that's in Queen Forest currently is either moving to Elder Hill or Ionia, depending on what they can do. So I'll build up forces in Ionia, which is all this stuff, and in Elder Hill, which is this stuff, plus a new um, spirit of points. We got lucky again. Um, oh, I better script this guy, I suppose. Oh, I'll do that when the video ends. Um, so we'll have units in Ionia, units in Elder Hill, and we'll storm Lemnos. Um, so we'll have stuff around here to try and deal with this back and then take this throne. And that's it for this turn. Only other thing to note is I'm forging another um, disease curing item. No I noticed that one of my commanders in this province is also diseased. But let's make sure we can put a disease curing item in each of our throne fort as well. Um, sounds like a good idea. That was turn 46. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Uh, we claimed the Throne of Fire, good stuff. Uh, cast some spells. We found two sites in Pepper Plain with one of our commanders and the third with another. Um, so, Data Oasis for 50 supply, 25 gold, and a nature gem. Uh, Enchanted Tower for one earth gem, and a Garden of Pearls for two pearls, which is nice. Um, I've, I think I'm, yeah, I'm starting to build the Palisades on this now. We've got the lab here so everyone's just researching and I'm putting a dome over it too. Uh, a couple of battles. Um, a few of them are kind of important. Um, we saw this, this is on the uh, west side of the world. 
can see another giant Garudan stack of <laughs> units. Um, this is where I've got like raiders going around. So we're dodging that at the moment, but uh, and then there's also a battle in Lemnos. Um, so this is unfortunate. I, for some reason, th this is just one of those stupid things in my head. For some reason, I thought that if we storm the fort, that that battle would take place first. So what I thought was going to happen was that we'd be inside Lemnos under siege by this army. What I did not expect to happen was that we would just fight this army. Because <laughs> if I knew that was what was going to happen, I wouldn't have had this fight because it's, you know, a bit one-sided. Um, so with that in mind, here's how it goes. <laughs> Uh, we see a lot more spells from Grudo this time, including Mass Flight. Also Fog Warriors, Marble Warriors, he has a lot of really, really high level buffs that I'd, I'm nowhere near. Um, so our group soul just gets surrounded by flying ethereal units. I don't think I saw Weapons of Sharpness. So this is still all just mundane attacks, but... Uh, yeah, good luck getting through all of that <laughs> protection and mist form. Yeah. So... Neither of us could really hit each other, but he just had significantly more units than I did. 225 of those. Uh, yeah, so that so we lost pretty much everything, which is a shame. Um, so that's over here, and then the other giant stack is here, and then he has another here, and there's one here. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how to fight that guy. I mean, I'm not trying to fight the guy. Is the thing I like? I just want to take this throne. I just want to take thrones and defend them. But this is going to be a problem. How do you? There's another 120 of them. How do you deal with that? Um, what else? Uh, we attacked Elder Hill. That's fine. And took back Forest of Gone, which is over here. Also fine. Uh, the minute anything else was too interesting until... Oh, which one of these was it? Not this one. This is the wrong one. Until... Uh, La Mancha attacked into one of the provinces that I defended. So... This is not the thugs, this is the caster army into my hungry prince and a lot of splendor. Uh, level 1 worms as usual. So pretty much immediately. I really need to get them all leveled up. It's been a long time since I was able to just sit in a province casting Agitate. Um, but once the Splen Splendor get up front, they, uh, they now have the Fire Bless from the throne, so they have plus three attack. Um, so their scimitars are up to five attack, that's pretty good guys, come on. Uh, this goes on eight, hell yeah. Um, so at that point, yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, so that was Chibia. Found a lot of items from, uh, I guess from the Emir. Uh, also killed 12 casters. We lost uh, one champion and an acolyte. And all of the worms again, just instantly die. Um, yep, yeah, so that was pretty good. Uh, pretty bad was that lightning... I, I forgot, this has a higher chance of hitting us because we have turmoil scales. But it's not just 2%, it's... Whatever it is, I think it's either 2 plus 3 or 2 plus 6. Um, and among those killed was Asmodeus the Night Conjurer Amaranth. That's really unfortunate because Asmodeus is the guy who was casting Agitate in Old Forest. So <laughs> we still can't sit in a province agitating because I just lost the guy who was doing it over here. Um, I'm going to have to move another... Did you do it? Yeah, it's only D2. All right. Oh no, I'm staying here to... Um, you need to get cured of your affliction. 
You can do it. We can get someone else to forge sacred slime. Who are you leading? That's fine. We'll move um, two poor to retire at 103 back to Old Forest to start doing agitates in his place. Um, someone needs to forge sacred slime now. Nature and astral, anyone? You're doing the amulet of resilience. That we can change. All right, you do amulet of resilience. Okay, you do sacred slime. You do amulet of resilience. Right. So we're forging some items of this term. You might have noticed. Um, got a lot of stuff sitting over here doing nothing now. Uh, I've got a nice knight amaranth here. I'm gonna forge him a set of gear. I'm gonna give him 145 worms, and I'm just gonna send him west to continue harassing around here. Just want to distract Gerudo. Get him off our back. Um, this is our other raiding force that's over here. It's currently going to attack this province just to annoy this stack. Um, just going to keep doing that. Keep him distracted. Uh, no one else is really doing anything. It's mostly just movements to kind of move units around. I'm still going to keep raiding over here. I'm going to keep raiding over here and take my provinces back. I'm taking back Menache, this guy who's about to die, um, and some units. And Niffel is getting couple of things. This guy's got some of the items that he picked up off the ground. Uh, he'll lead some worms. It should be fine. And then everything else is moving else. Everything else is moving over to Elder Hill. Um, I assume Gerudo is just going to storm Lemnos this turn, so he's probably not going to move. Um, but we'll build up force in Elder Hill. We'll see if this is enough to fight him. Um, and maybe he moves into us anyway. Maybe he just ignores the cap. I don't know. But if not, we'll continue just building things up in Elder Hill to fight this. Be nice to wipe another stack and then go back to thinking about thrones. But really, that's it. There's not a lot else going on. Um, I said I talked about the throne, getting the fort up and everything. Uh, yeah. Only other thing I'm doing now is just trying to get everyone's diseases cured. If I hit that. I'll. I'll Let's check that enchantment actually. Wrath of God, it's 2% plus 2 times Dominion plus Turmoil. Minimum 1% chance. Alright, oh, that would be because order would reduce it. So it's 2% times Turmoil. Yeah, that's so that's so it's 8% chance we get hit. It's actually pretty high. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, that, that seems really unlucky that it hit my commander and just killed him. I mean, how many hit points do these guys have? 19? Even the Night Conjurers, are they? Well, you're dying. Yeah, 19 hit points, and he got hit by lightning and died? That's wild. Can it crit, maybe? Can it do the exploding dice roll thing? I don't know. Uh, anyway. And that was it for 1047. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on 1048.